My name is Lucas Doffer. I'm 23 years old from Owensboro, Kentucky. I grew up playing for a couple local soccer clubs in the Kentucky, um, Indiana area. At 15, I went to Shattuck St. Mary's Boarding School in Faribault, Minnesota. Played there for three years. Took a gap year to Denmark where I played under 19 Super League and Reserve League. Lived with a host family. Then in January of 2014 uh, was my first semester at Creighton University to play there for four years. Graduated with a degree in public relations and communications. After I graduated, I went into the MLS draft, was drafted 26 overall by the Vancouver Whitecaps, was released um, on the last day of MLS preseason, and then ultimately signed my first professional contract with the New York Red Bulls. Played with them uh, the 2018 season. After the season ended, I bought a one-way plane ticket to Europe, and now I'm in Germany and have just signed a one-year contract with Wacker Nordhausen, which plays in the Regional Liga, which is the fourth tier of German football. It's a win win for everybody because then, if let's look at it from a club's perspective, if a club brings you in and you turn out to be really, let's just take the soccer side out of it, if you're a good person, you show up to training every day you have a good attitude and you work hard. You mean the club in, in Europe? Yes, at the club in Europe. Then they, they've, they will give you the respect and treat you well. But then if you turn out that you can, it can actually play and you can help them and maybe even sign a professional contract, then that was basically free scouting for them. So for everybody, it really is a win-win because you're learning a new culture, a new style, of football, you're being able to be immersed in a different group of people that you wouldn't normally immerse yourself with. Um, in my case, I lived with a host family, so I was immersed in the culture 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So yeah, I, I, there, for me, at least when I was going through the process, I, to me, there was no downside. Besides, you're obviously going to miss your family and miss your friends, but Ultimately, if they're really your friends and your, your family supports you during it, then they'll understand, hey, this is probably best. Uh, it's not for everyone, that's for sure. No. Because no. you have to be a kind of open-minded. Yeah. Have to be, the family has to be supportive. Yep. Both financially and also like, just be there for the, for the player. Because Absolutely. Because going, in your case, you were 18. Yep. Coming to Europe and a new culture and... Things are different over here, believe me. Absolutely, absolutely. It's 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 very important. You, someone's success is the credit to everybody behind the scenes. So, going back, I kind of committed to go to an MLS um, academy, probably the best MLS youth setup in the entire country. Um, I won't say who, but, um, but yeah, I, I had kind of committed to go there, but then when this European opportunity came along, um, I decided to call the coach and say, you know, I, I appreciate the opportunity, but I think I'm going to take this European opportunity. Um, it ended up being a really good experience. Um, the host family, I still keep in touch with today. So that relationship is very good there. Whenever I go back to Denmark, I always have a place to stay, which is nice. And they actually came over to the United States to visit me. Yeah, from a, from a, a soccer perspective, it opened up a lot of doors for, for me. So going overseas raised a lot of eyebrows because at the time, it was probably a year, year and a half before, and don't quote me on that, before Pulisic made his move over to Europe. So really before him it was kind of taboo for Americans to be in Europe at such a young age. There were obviously there are a plethora of players from the United States that played in Bundesliga but going over at 17, 18, 19 was kind of uncommon. Um, but once I, once I made that jump I was very fortunate that the club 
was very welcoming towards Americans and the first team coach took a liking to me very early so I was able to train with the first team and obviously training with the first team most of the guys had played at some point in their career Danish Superliga and one player actually played in MLS so the level was very high um, and that type of training that I was getting I felt set me up when I got to college. If you are going to do something like that, that's a big step in your life. And like I said earlier about, let's look at it from an American perspective, when a kid goes off to college, that's a big thing. Even if it's an hour or two from, the, from, the, from your house where you grew up, now we're talking about a eight hour, 10 hour plane flight and an entirely new culture, an entirely new language, an entirely new currency, an entirely different way of life. So that, if you are thinking about doing that, you need to have the proper um, support system in place because like you said, that's very, very important for the overall success of your, your trip. You should know what to expect and you should be prepared you yeah. know, for that. I yeah. think that's very important. and. <clears throat> I mean, it's doable still. Like, yeah. It's not like a miracle. Yeah, but you know, like um, the way, like having, like you guys having your experience with going over to the US, like I didn't have a resource like that. So I was going in like cold turkey, I was going in blind. Like I didn't know what I was ex gonna expect. I didn't know really looking back on it, it was it was a little bit scary and especially for my parents I, I guarantee it was um, luckily everybody turned out to be fantastic the people were fantastic the way of living everything um, the host family like I said I still keep in touch with them they're fantastic people so yeah it, it, it's it's good to have some what's the word some not not only experience but being able to sit down with a guy like yourself and saying oh yes i've been through this like i know exactly what it is you need this 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 and this like being able to have it kind of you being able to lay it out for players is something that not everybody gets and not everybody um has the privilege to um have the resource. One of the biggest things, if not the biggest things, is that you have to have, obviously you have to want to do it and you obviously have to love the game, but you also have to be almost wanting to get uncomfortable, getting out of your comfort zone. Um, and I think if you have that sort of like mentality where it's like, okay, I know this is gonna be very difficult, but I know in the long run it's gonna help me, then you're already 60-70% there. Did it help you in the long run? Oh, yeah, of course. It was... It, it made this experience much easier. Um, and then when I started this sort of journey three months ago when I started in Denmark, like I already knew. And I already kind of knew the lay of the land, how the people were, how the training sessions would be. And it goes to show that it was kind of the same in Germany. So, um, yeah, absolutely. And the, off the field, it uh, opens your mind more. And I like to think I'm a pretty open-minded person, but it was um, like being able, like it, there's nothing you can do that's going to replace that experience like going into an entirely new way of living is something that's invaluable. It's awesome. Especially in my community, uh, my dad gets asked a lot, like what am I actually doing? Am I still playing? Um, I think immediately when the American can say that they played in Europe um, for one, two, three seasons, then um, it makes going back to the U.S. and getting opportunities there much easier. I mean, for, fortunately for me, I was 
very lucky because I was able to travel at a really young age. So I was able to be, play on the futsal national team. And so a lot of our trips would be Brazil, Guatemala, South America. So um, I was kind of like, I, I, was, I was already confident with myself that I said, okay, if I can go into a culture like that, even though it was only for a week or two at a time, maybe I was, that tailored me to be ready to make a jump into a half year, um, six months in Denmark. That experience kind of teed me up to come over here and be confident in my abilities. Whenever I talk to people about my, my soccer experience and American soccer in general, I think Americans have this kind of like no fear mentality. But I think a lot of that is due to, they don't really know what is in Europe or really like really have a grasp of like what type of training the kids at the best youth academies in the world are getting so for me the club that i was at was not one of the best youth academies in the world but it was still a good level it was, some some of the players now are playing in the danish superliga so me already having that experience and kind of understanding that i'm not going to know the language I'm not gonna, I might not be the best player on the field, but I'm not gonna get outworked. And I think if I can control that, control the things that I can control, my quality will show through. I knew that if I would go into a new culture, ultimately you're gonna grow. Like even for a month and a half, like I've grown, I've, I've my perception probably on some things when I go back to the US and the off season has changed. That's just, that's, that's the nature of the beast of what you're doing. But for me, when I went to Denmark, my thought was always, okay, what's going to set me up best for my end goal, which was signing a professional contract at a professional club. I, I was very much in it for the football, but I knew that the cultural stuff would just ultimately fall into place. But I, if, if you're thinking about doing that, like I said, you need to just think about what you want to get out of it. You need to think about how serious you actually want to be because it's one thing to talk about it and it's a, quite another to go over and make the jump where you don't, you leave all your friends, you leave your family, you leave um, a currency that you know, you leave behind a language, but if you can stay the course and keep believe in what you're doing, then Ultimately, I believe good things will come of it. Honestly, it was way more familiar coming back. So, obviously going over for the first time, well, for the first time for a longer period than two or three weeks, it being six months when I did it five, six years ago, um, it was daunting. It was a little bit, uh, like I said earlier, I was, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect, but now coming back over, I, it's a little bit more familiar and I, I do feel at home here. I, I, I love the culture. I, I love the way of life. It's, it seems to me it's much more simple living. So, um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy it.